up, Pharmacy Nation? I'm Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for listening to the Elective Rotation, a Critical Care Pharmacy podcast. This is episode 413. In this episode, I'll discuss why moxifloxacin doesn't cover urinary tract infections. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 413. Imagine the following scenario. You're covering multidisciplinary rounds with the hospitalist team when they present a patient who appears to have two infections. The first, community-acquired pneumonia for which the patient was admitted, and they had a positive sputum culture and an infiltrate on their chest x-ray. The second infection is a UTI for which the patient had 35 whites in their urinalysis and pan-sensitive E. coli in their urine culture. The team comments they're using moxifloxacin to treat both infections and moves on to the next patient. Did you catch the problem? Despite the oddity that a patient may have a UTI and pneumonia at the same time, it's that moxifloxacin can't be counted on to treat a UTI. Moxifloxacin doesn't achieve adequate concentrations in the urine. For this reason, it was never approved to treat UTIs. Assuming the patient has two infections, a different quinolone, such as levofloxacin, would be needed to provide adequate coverage to the patient. When in doubt whether an antibiotic can be used for a given infection, always look in the prescribing information for an FDA indication. If there's no indication, confirm with a tertiary resource such as Hopkins Antibiotic Guide or Sanford Guide. This is an easy way to make sure that you never use an antibiotic for an infection that it doesn't work for. To get access to my free download area with 20 different resources to help hospital pharmacists in their practice, go to PharmacyJoe.com slash free. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.